Hello, good morning and welcome to our channel. Today we will learn how can we install GlassFish server in our system. First you need to go to the internet and search download GlassFish server. I have already installed the, I have already downloaded the setup of the GlassFish server which is called as zip file. First thing we need to do, extract this file. Extract files. We can extract the file where we can need to install the software. I can install another drive rather than C. It is called D drive and press OK. Extraction is going on. Please wait for few minutes. It is it takes less time. You can see the uh, extraction has been done. Go to the D drive. Here we can see GlassFish 5. It means GlassFish has been installed. But installation is nothing. After then, after the installation, you can create a domain in GlassFish server. You go to the drive where we can install GlassFish server. After then, go to the bin folder. In this, you can type CMD. One command prompt can be should be open. You need to type some command for creation of GlassFish server domain. As admin create hyphen domain hyphen hyphen user username. The username you can need to uh, login use for login i can take test space hyphen hyphen port number the port number which add me port the port number which you can use for surfing your websites i can take 4343 three. and the domain name i can take show enter it take less time 30 to 35 seconds for creation of domain you can say enter password i can enter test again enter password test press enter domain created successfully after the domain creation we can always start the server for starting the server we all we can use some commands for starting the servers these commands are as admin start hyphen domain domain and domain name and press enter it takes few times for starting the server wait for few minutes you can open chrome browser for opening the blastfish server it shows let's check it server is started or not and type simply type localhost hyphen the port number you can see the site can't be reached because server cannot be started we are waiting for that when server is started we can go to the browser and start the yeah 
domain started successfully you have seen the message go to the browser again type localhost and the port number which you can choose during the installation yeah you have seen the blast server admin console they are showing the message the console is starting please wait please wait for few minutes yeah you can enter the username test password test and press enter yeah this is the application console window and if this is the logout button after the using of the admin console you can simply log out and for one thing you need to know you also need to stop the server it cannot be stopped automatically you can once again type a command as admin space stop hyphen domain and domain name and press enter yeah domain stop successfully you can simply go to the local host and press enter once again you have seen the message the site can't be reached that means your server successfully stopped thanks for the day